If your Oculus Quest 2 games look like this, you should watch the video because we'll be covering how you can play Steam games on your headsets the proper way. So I recently got myself an Oculus Quest 2, but when I tried to connect it to my PC to play Steam games, they gave me a 2D screen projected in 3D space. Now this is obviously not what you want when you play VR, but after a quick fix, I can now play Steam games like Star Wars Squadrons and Half-Life Alex right on my Quest 2. So I just wanted to make a quick guide for how you can do this too. Firstly, get a USB-C cable. You can buy these for around £20 or $25. Just search for Oculus Quest 2 cable on Amazon. There's an officially branded one made by Oculus but it costs like triple the price so generic cables do the job fine. Make sure it's at least five meters in length so you've got room to move around because you need your headset plugged in while you're playing Steam games. Next, you need to download two things. The first is Steam VR, so download that and leave the shortcut on your desktop. Second, download the Oculus app. Make sure to sign in and link your headset to your PC. You need the Oculus app open while you're connected to your PC. Now plug in your headset. Once you're plugged in, you'll see this message. Go ahead and click on it and now you're linked to your PC. So how do we actually play our Steam games? What I was doing before was going through an app called Virtual Desktop. As I read on the internet that you can stream your games to your Quest 2 through this app. But the games only appear in 2D. They are not the fully 3D experiences. What you need to do instead is much more simple. So all you have to do is click down below on the desktop button. This will bring up your desktop. Now click on the Steam VR button. Once you click on the Steam VR shortcut, it'll bring you to a special Steam lobby and any VR accessible game you've downloaded on Steam will appear on this screen. These can be games you've paid for like Star Wars Squadrons or even just free games you've downloaded like Covert Syndrome. And now you can go in and have fun in VR. But what if some of these steps didn't work for you? Well, let's address some popular troubleshooting topics. One of the biggest things people have a problem with is gameplay lag. This is highly dependent on the cable you're using. I was using a USB 2.0 cable before and it just wasn't able to transmit all the required information. So make sure your cable is a 3.0 and is compatible with Oculus Quest 2. Also make sure your PC is powerful enough to run VR content. You can check if your PC is up to the job with this handy Steam performance test. If your games are still lagging, it might be that you've accidentally turned AirLink on. You want to have AirLink off if you're running a wide connection. To do that, head into your headset settings and select AirLink off. AirLink is a great way to connect your PC without the wires, but in my experience, it needs stupidly fast internet speeds. Otherwise, the frame rates are just really choppy. So wired connections are the most stable. To sum up, Download Steam VR, download the Oculus app, plug in a USB 3.0 cable, then click on the Steam VR app. If you've tried this and you're still having trouble, let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to answer. As well as that, you can also try contacting Oculus themselves. I've used their chat a few times and they've always been really helpful and have solved my problem in a matter of minutes. Anyway, thanks for watching and enjoy your new life in the wonders of virtual reality. Hi, I was trying to play Portal 2 but it was just lagging really bad and it wouldn't work. Yeah, I was getting kind of mad, so I just got over it. Who are you smacking at, huh?